Hi everyone, welcome back. One of the joys about being semi-retired now, i.e. proper work, you know, still a foster carer, um, I have been binge watching YouTube videos. I've been trawling in Facebook to find people's recommendations and shame on me, but I've only just discovered a lady called Tracy Fox. Absolutely brilliant tutorials and I will put a link to her channel underneath. Now I watched one for, I think it was last year, about an ephemera um, holder, a big holder. I mean, I know I've I've done a tutorial on, on my little, you know, stuff for my fussy cut stuff. But this one, I thought, brilliant. I have so much stuff in here. I need to have a bit of a clear out. So what I've got are two folders, very much in the style of, of um, what Tracy Fox did, although she did a, a four-fold one and this is a, a tri-fold one. So, there we go. This is um, Sari Silk on here. I can't remember the sizes actually, I think they're eight deep. I think this is about five and a quarter wide, but they are holders as opposed to uh, a proper journal. So on the front, just very simple layering. So this is a bit of netting I've discovered, and this is a way for me to use up my my stuff or stuff that I've rediscovered. So this is a kind of um, the light's not very good. It's evening, like a netting, and then we have some doilies, some book paper, and then a picture on the front, and of course a butterfly. Um, I've recently purchased, or about six months ago, purchased a. a printer that does A3 paper. So that's what I've printed this on. Oh, if I very carefully turn it over, you can see all of it. So it's all one piece of card that I've printed off. Now this is, I think it just about fits inside. This is it opened up. And so what I've got is I have gone through all and I, I really do have much too much ephemera. I keep making tags and I keep my, making little envelopes and cards and and then I don't do anything with them. Or sometimes I'll put them in the journals and then I'll rediscover them and think, oh, I must do that. So this has been brilliant for clearing, um, you know, sorting through my stuff. And I didn't know, I will be listing this for sale, well, both of these for sale. So I thought it was a great way of sharing it out. So we have cardstock. Um, this side is little pockets, so little envelope. This is a, a little coin pocket that I've used. I've been using a book paper like it's going out of fashion. Actually, I've just put a little uh, Velcro tab on that one to keep it together. And then I've got so many of these little glassine bags, coin envelopes, paper bags. I thought, right. I'm going to put those in as well. You never know, somebody might like them. Right now, this side. Patricia Viramontes, I think. Book pages, using up book pages. I get left with, once I've taken out the pages that I like, i.e. ones with pictures or relevant words, I get left with loads of them. So I thought, okay, so we've had a bit of a, bit of a mad one making pockets so this is a little envelope pocket i don't know it's out of a 1920s um book anyway i've just put some washi tape on it and then there's a wrap because i couldn't find a way that i like to keeping it shut so it's a little book wrap and there's a charm on the front now it is Nature botanical predominantly because that's what I like and so that's what I tend to end up with with loads of it So we have a car there, but I thought those two were so cute. So I thought do you know what they're gonna go in So that's outside these are actually quite deep pockets on the back. I think they're three and a half inches Pockets on the back of there Now the middle bit I've got, if I can untangle it, so we have a very dimensional tag and I've only put one in in each one actually. They're, they're pretty much the same. I've tried to sort of split up what I've got. So we have a 
and I have backed, backed them. As I said, trying to use up my stuff. Now if I take this one out and then so this one is a, a book page, a pocket, a line card, I don't know. I'd call that a pocket. And then we have everything's backed on book paper. So we have a little tag. This is um, shiny paper. Sorry if I'm not getting this in camera. It's like a kind of glitter. It's not glitter, but it is shiny paper. And then this one, a little chap on there. So that's the middle bit. I will put those back in after. And then down the bottom, came across these old black and white pictures that I'd um, I'd got. So picnic. I love those two ladies. That Irish wolfhound. Another lady. I know that's not, oh that's there you go. Now you can see the pocket. And then this one. So we have some little tags, tickets, tags, a poem in that one. And then I've still got tea, tea dyed papers and so I thought, right, okay, little notebook. I don't know how many pages is in here. I do know I didn't cut down my big paper, so everything falls out. That's it again. Except I've got this one upside down, so start from the beginning. So, tea stands, and we have some ledger, some graph, some more tea stands. And then the centre. And so on and so forth. Yeah. Sometimes I need to get away from from doing journals. Sometimes I just need to okay. Brain off. Something different. And this was perfect. So we had some cards or tags. These were gifted, well the originals were gifted to me from um, Edwina Kinch and they are brilliant. I have to admit I have um, copied these and then just put some stitching around them. They're brilliant. So they go in there and then original book pages because I have so many books. So we have a bit of dictionary. Oh, this is the chat, the Gordon Benfield chat that I use. So there's a poem in the middle and on the back and then a, a black and white drawing. This is a, a 1930s, um, oh, what do you call it? Shorthand, Pittman shorthand. And some music paper. And this is, um, this one again is from the 30s, a uh, bird book. I thought, oh, smells old. So that one is the first one. I will put tags on everything back. And the second one is basically much of a muchness because as I was sort of rummaging through all my stuff, I thought, yep. And I was splitting it up, so same principle. Uh, some more of that netting, um, doilies, some book paper, and a, a different picture. Oh, what I didn't say was I've actually put um, cheesecloth down both spines just to give it a bit of added when you open and close. So, if we go inside, does it all fit in? Yeah. Sort of. So if I look at the first one, same principle. I've got lots of different little pockets and 
Those are those blank That's another printed coin pocket. So sorry about that, my camera just died. So lots of little pockets and um, same principle at the back. So we have a a book page envelope and I've made a wrap up more washi tape on it. This time it's got a bit of um bit of decoration on there, another trim, and then three more cards. getting all stuck and if I don't put this one back I lose where I am and then the middle one we've got uh, so another dimensional tag with a little charm on it I have actually got a load of dimensional tags but I've got no room in here to actually put them in so we have Another one, all backed onto card, and another one, so he's not stood up. Same again, and another limbo loop or tuck spotter. I don't know, I don't know what you call those. Um, and we have three more black and white pictures. These are, um, Ladies what lunch, I think it's fair to say, those ones. Oh, couple at the beach looking particularly unhappy. And then this side, so more pictures, cards, another poem. Sorry I'm rushing through them, but it's very much like the the first one. Another notebook that I've made up if I got it the right way yes I have this time so little notepad journaling book there is actually loads of um, writing space in these Oops. tea stained papers oh I think my battery is about to die so let's be quick and then we have more cards, so that one, and then two different of these which I've again stitched around, like those. So put those back after, and then on the back page, some more of the book papers. So some dictionary, a bit more of the um, shorthand book, a different one of the... Um, of the Benningfield pictures, some more of the music paper, and the same book, but this time different pictures, obviously, because there's only one lot per book. The Pink Footed Goose. Half of these birds, you know, I've never actually heard of. So, and then the back. So, those are the two. Ephemera holders I've got. Yes, they're a bit of a mess now. I've kind of messed everything up. I will be listing them on uh, on my Etsy shop if anybody's interested. So, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.